Here's how to make antibiotics when pharmacies are cemeteries and a simple scratch is a death sentence. That tiny cut on your hand isn't so tiny anymore. It's red, it's angry, it's hosting a bacterial rave and your body is the nightclub. This is a race between your collapsing immune system and a microscopic civilization bent on consuming you from the inside out. You are losing. Subscribe and I'll teach you how to commit targeted microscopic genocide before you have to amputate your own hand with a rusty saw. First, acquire an orange, the last orange. Guard it with your life. Now, you must abuse it. Leave it in a warm, dark, humid place for a week and let it contemplate its citrus sins. You are waiting for a very specific type of life to emerge from the decay. You are looking for a fuzzy blue-green mold. This is penicillium, our beautiful, life-saving fungus. If the mold is black, pink, or any other festive color, you have failed. You have successfully cultivated a bioweapon. Do not touch it, do not breathe it in, throw it at your enemies and start over. While you're waiting for that beautiful rot to bloom, tell me in the comments what's the most surprisingly useful thing you've scavenged that was completely broken or decayed. Share your tales of trash to treasure. <laughs> Once you have the good mold, prepare its feast. Boil a potato and save the starchy water or just dissolve some sugar in water. It's not picky. Gently scrape your precious this blue-green mold into the sugary broth. Let it fester for another few days. If it starts to smell like disappointment and forgotten soup, congratulations, that's the smell of progress. <laughs> now, strain the liquid through a clean-ish piece of cloth. This liquid is your primitive penicillin broth. Let me be clear, this is for topical use only. Do not drink this unless you want a fungal jungle in your intestines. Do not inject this ever. Dab it gently on that small infected cut. This is for minor battles, not for saving you from a gaping wound. Congratulations! You've just weaponized rot to fight rot. You had stared into the face of decay and forced it to save your life. For now, 